So in one of my last videos, I told you about an area of this tall fescue backyard. It was greening up a lot faster than all the other areas because it had been eaten off down to the crown of the plant by some rabbits. So I also got some comments in that video that said, yeah, I typically cut my fescue down pretty short or right away in the spring I cut it down fairly short so that it removes the brown and it greens up a lot faster than everything else. So typically this is more of a warm season thing in terms of scalping down that brown dormant turf that's down there in the south, getting that sunlight down to the soil and warming it up so that that warm season grass can get going. But what if we actually did something similar to cool season? Typically we won't do that because you're going to be putting some stress on the plant in order to do that. And the warm season turf is getting into its best season, whereas cool season turf, you want to be careful with it in the spring because it's going into its most difficult season in terms of the summer heat. What if today we did a slight experiment just for some fun? It might require me to actually mow something, which I know would be absolutely terrible, but I'll do it for the purposes of experimentation. The thing about this is, is I can't really seem to get a good measurement of height of cut. There's some areas that are pretty matted down from the winter time. I will do my best to see if I can get a tape measure in here and see where this is actually at. But the mower is going to do most of the work to help pull this back up and see where we're at in terms of cutting it. So, if everything is standing up, looks like just at three inches, but like I said, for the most part, a lot of it is laying down. So I'll have to see what I actually have to do on the mower height to get it to pull some of that dead stuff out of there. I have my nice clean mower that's about to get dirty. Okay, so all of that area over there mowed at two inches with the side discharge and then about halfway through I decided to put on the bagger just to see the difference. I wanted to see what was coming out as far as side discharge, how much I was cutting off as far as clippings over on that section first. So this obviously over here looks cleaner. So there's definitely still plenty of brown down in there. And even at two inches I wasn't really scalping. There's just a couple spots I saw that cut more like a scalp would, but for the most part I was just cutting off those brown tips. So I took the Electra through one of the sections, I just did an up and down pass just to remove some of that brown dead material. This is not trying to take out a thatch layer or anything like that, it's just to remove some of that dead material from winter. So I wanted to do one section of that just for experimental purposes, just to see if it greens up faster in that section, getting more airflow in there. And definitely it looks like it did stand up the grass better. So I will take my mower back over this to clean it up, bag up all those clippings. Then the rest of the yard over to the fence line on that side, I'm not going to mow at all. So we'll have a mowed section and then no mowing at all. So after running the scarifier through that, that did allow me to cut this a lot cleaner and more of the brown stuff came off of there because I had removed a lot of it as well and put that up to the surface, picked that up with the other mower, looks a lot better. Well so far my attempt at this test, it's not going so well. I woke up this morning and this is what things were looking like.
So I looked at my phone sitting at 27 degrees this morning, frosty, so it's been difficult for me to get a real sense of what's been working. But what I have figured out so far is that definitely the mowed area looks better than the non-mowed area in terms of green up. That makes a whole lot of sense because you cut off some of that browning on top and you're bringing up some of the green that was already there underneath. So as far as the area that I went through and removed some of the dead material compared to where I just mowed, so far I don't really see a difference between these two. We're going to need a couple more weeks of actually maybe getting some spring weather, I think, in order to figure out what this test is actually going to do and how much it's going to make a difference between the different areas. What has really made a difference though for sure is the mowing of the Kentucky Bluegrass Rye mix and even the perennial rye on the front. I have not mowed that yet, but it is greening up faster. So what I found with this tall fescue, this is my second spring of this tall fescue in the backyard is that it acts almost more like a warm season grass in some senses. As you saw earlier this year, it was very, very brown and dormant during the winter time. It looked honestly more like a Bermuda lawn than it did tall fescue. And what I've found is that it definitely needs some heat in order to get going. So it's lagging along all the other things in terms of the ryegrass or the Kentucky bluegrass that I have. And those are greening up really nicely. The area that I have mowed starting earlier, so about three three weeks ago or so, it is already looking fantastic. And so none of that early mowing did any sort of damage to this. It just looked great. Same type of situation out here with the test plot areas. Those are greening up nicely. I did put that small dose of fertilizer on there a few weeks ago and we did get some rain in between there. So that should be good and watered in. But by far my favorite area as far as everything's looking green so far is this fine fescue. As you can see behind me, there's some spots that definitely need to fill in yet. But in terms of green up, in terms of how this is looking early spring compared to pretty much everything else I have except for the Kentucky bluegrass and the perennial ryegrass. But remember, those are three, four seasons old. This was just planted last fall. So green up on this is amazing. No fertilizer on this yet either. That will probably be coming up once we start to get some warmer weather. I will put probably one dose, half a pound or so onto this down here. Hopefully get that new seed going as well. It's just been sitting there. It's been too cold to really do anything, but we'll see how that all turns out. I may have to do one more slight overseed, but I think once the weather warms up enough, we start to get more heat, more sunlight, but yet this is still fairly filtered and shaded. I think this thing is going to light up. So I think the moral of this story so far is some springs are not like the others. And if you're still not green right now, I think we're all experiencing some of the same things across the northern part of the country. Really ready for spring to get here, but sometimes it's not exactly as fast as we want it to be. And it also could be worse because I just looked at this photo from April 15th of 2018. Yeah. One quick thing, I wanted to mention something new on the channel is I do have channel membership set up now. There's some special perks for members, but also what we're going to do is my co-host from the Turfcast podcast, Ryan DeMay and I are going to be doing a Turfcast live once a month. The chat portion of that is going to be for members only. So if you've ever had a question that you really want us to answer, or if you just want to hang out with everybody else, check out the memberships right here. Click the join button. You can see all the different things that we have as far as the levels go with the different types of membership. And I'm going to be adding to this over time. A lot of exclusive content, behind the scenes content. So make sure to check that out. I just want to mention that today. And the first Turfcast Live should be coming up for sure before the end of April. Well, time for me to get back to work today. I'll have a video posted on my other channel very soon about what I'm up to out here. But I just want to thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.